fix and we're going to do the 21 day fix challenge. So I got my package a little bit earlier than some of you have and I was just a little bit surprised when I got my package. I saw the containers laid out on the commercials and in my ordering material so I was expecting a little bit larger. This is what comes in your package. You get the Shakeology shaker, the Shakeology if you got the, the challenge pack. So if you didn't get the challenge pack, I'm going to remove that. You do get the shaker cup just as a free gift and you can also measure your wine in it. Um, so you get the 21 day fix, 3 day quick fix guide. This is for the end of the program. It gives you a little bit better of a calorie burn and you can use it any other time if you just have a quick event that you have to go to and you want to lose some weight. You can do a three day little mini version of this and it's got a different allotment of eating. Uh, it has a different allotment of containers that you use based on uh, whether you're a male or a female and that's going to get you there quicker. That's why it's just three days. You're never supposed to do that more than three days. So you're going to start with the 21 day fix. Start here, quick start guide. That's where you do your measurements and you take your uh, before and after photos. Then with that you've got the 21 day fix eating plan. That's where she explains all the containers. She tells you how to use them, how to find your calorie bucket, and we also have a spreadsheet that we made up that'll make that a little bit easier. You don't have to do any of the math. Um, she explains what types of food can go in the containers to make it a little easier for you. And that's not all inclusive. It's just a, a guideline to give you a starting place. Um, I'll show this to you closer later. When you finish your 21 day fix, you're going to submit your after photos along with your before photos. And you'll get a nice t-shirt that says 20 day fix on, 21 day fix on the back and closer every day on the front. That's a pretty cool way that you can show everybody that you did it. So here's your containers. Does not look like a lot of food. So they're all nested inside one another. So here's your orange. Upside down. Here's your yellow, your green. You get two orange, and I haven't quite figured out why you get two orange. You get the blue, red, and purple. Okay, so there's your rainbow, as she calls it, of containers. It still doesn't look like a lot of food to me, so. I work best with visuals and I kind of made a, a little art project that my kids could have probably done a better job. And I'm going to base mine just on where my calorie count falls. So what I did is I made a lovely square for each container where they would fit to show how much food it is that I'll get based on my calorie range. So that's the 1200 to 1499 calorie range, the first one. These are very nice looking teaspoons. Uh, so, how that works is I'm allotted three green containers. So, I get one, two, three green containers per day, two purple containers, one of the blue, two of the carbs, two of the yellows, <laughs> three of the reds, and then one orange and two teaspoons. Um, so that might give you a little bit of a better idea of what exactly that you'll be eating. So along with that, I'm supposed to have 50 ounces of water and that's gonna vary based on your weight. You're gonna take your weight and divide that by two. I have to have my Wonder Woman cup and I'm gonna steal Chet's Superman cup. You get to have your little sweetener, calorie-free calorie sweetener in your coffee. So I can still have coffee or tea or whatever I choose. I'm going to have coffee. I'm going to have my water. I'm going to have all of this. And most likely I'll have Shakeology, which I'll be replacing 
certain containers for my Shakeology based on the recipe that I'll have. So on any given day, I'm going to also have this. So that's a great deal of volume in liquid. And then all of these foods, remember, these are all where these would go. Um, right now, I'm going to have to be washing each one of these containers after I have used it so that I can have it ready for my next meal. They do sell a, um, a replacement kit. I think it's $17. I'll have to look up that. Um, that comes with an extra set. So looking at this, I may want to get two extra sets just so that I have them all ready and I don't have to spend this much time um, getting it ready for my next meal. And I'm going to try and just do a little bit of prep first so that I have things ready and it's a little bit easier for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare some meals, just some sample meals, and I'll probably package those up for me during the week when I get lazy and don't want to don't want to mess with all this. You always want to have something prepared so that you can keep up with your plan. And I mean, we all have those days. So I'm going to find out how to get this, all these varied containers I'm allotted, onto my plates and into my meals and see how that's all, all incorporated and um, give you another visual as far as what this really means going into your stomach. Okay, so right now I'm going to make my breakfast. This doesn't mean I eat this for breakfast every morning or anything like that. I'm just trying to go through and show you all what meals can be made from this. Because this doesn't look like a lot of food. Again, we said that. This is breakfast. So I'll have two eggs for my red protein. My carbs will be one waffle, a whole grain waffle. That doesn't fit in here, and I'm not going to cut it up like I'm two years old. You just know I'm cutting, I'm using one of my yellows. My purple is going to be strawberries to go on my waffles. And I'm a rule breaker. I've got my two eggs. I'm going to cut those up and show you that those can go in your red container. And in the book it tells you that two eggs is actually the equivalent of the red. So I haven't done this yet. I'm not exactly sure how well that will fit in there, and I'm a horrible egg cutter. So now you've seen why I didn't go to art school and why I never went to culinary school. So that's my red container. I try to have fresh fruit when I can, but sometimes I just can't, and I always keep a bag of frozen, so I just defrosted my strawberries, and it's not the end of the world. They just don't look as pretty. probably can fit, I think it's seven or eight depending on your size. And you can't really see that. I still have a little bit of room in there. So I don't know. If those were fresh, I wouldn't be able to squish them. So I'm not going to squish that down. I think I've got about eight, seven or eight strawberries in there. That's a fair amount. So here's my whole grain waffle with blueberries. I'm going to put my strawberries, my purple, and I go back. So this is the same thing. If I were to cut this up like I was going to feed a one-year-old and put it in here, that's my yellow container. For this meal, I still have others. So I'm going to put my fruit on top from my purple container. That's a decent-sized breakfast. I'll have a glass of water. Uh, no, actually it's breakfast. I think I'll have my coffee with it and my packet of stevia. Looks like enough food, especially for somebody like me who would ordinarily not have breakfast. So that's my uh, one red, one purple, and one yellow. Proteins, fruits, carbs. So we had our breakfast already. It's two to three hours later. We're going to have our snack. Uh, today I'm going to do a shock. Uh, today I'm going to do a Shakeology shake. I'll do chocolate and peanut butter. First of all, I don't know how anybody else makes theirs. I'm going to make it the way I make it. 
I don't really measure this part. So here's my chocolate shakeology with peanut butter. That's not one of the recipes in this book, for instance, but they had a peanut butter, a chocolate peanut butter and banana, and I don't like banana in shakes. And they had a chocolate peanut butter and jelly or something like that where you add it in grapes. I don't like that either. <laughs> so nobody likes to waste their shakeology, so you really want to get the, <laughs> the last little bit. If our tongues were long enough, we'd probably go up there and get it and then get cut by the blades. <laughs> You don't know how true this is. We really will not waste that last little bit of Shakeology. It's killing me that I see some wrapped around the blade area. All right. Since we're on a time crunch, I'll leave that last little bit, but maybe it'll melt and I'll get it later. If I didn't like to make my Shakeology so thick, this would have obviously had more liquid and it would have been a lot taller in here. I like mine like a Frosty. It's my dessert. So there is my snack. Again, that was one bread and one peanut buttery dirty teaspoon. So I still have one teaspoon left for the day. A red and a teaspoon in that meal. Protein and my teaspoon. Okay, so it's time for lunch. I'm going to do just kind of a fajita salad. Uh, I have some beef fajita meat that I actually had in a frozen bag. I like to make things easy. Sometimes I make fresh. Sometimes I just buy the ones that are frozen and reheat them. You do what you have to do in order to try and be as healthy as you can. None of us are perfect. So, just do your best and forget the rest. So I, uh, I have some romaine lettuce and I'm just going to kind of tear it into chunks just so that I can fit it in my, whoops, the dogs will get that if they're being healthy today. I kind of vary on the lettuce that I have. Sometimes it's well, usually it's a lot darker, leafier green, but this is what I have, and it's still healthy. Okay, not sure yet how much will fit in the green container. I haven't tried this yet, so we'll just see. Lettuce, I'm just going to cram. That looked about like what I would put on a salad if I didn't have these containers. So, see if I can make it fit. Because she said if I could fit it, I could eat it. So, yes, I could probably even cram a little bit more in there, but that's, that's good. You get the idea? I can put my lid on so I can eat my salad. It doesn't look like very much salad in there, but I dump it. Pretty good size. So, uh, I think I have one more green container that I get to have tomatoes for one more vegetable. I'm going to slice up some cherry tomatoes just to make it easier to eat. I may want more lettuce, so I may see if I can fit more lettuce and some tomatoes in my green. Because it doesn't have to be all one, all one type of food. As long as it falls into that container's category, you can mix and match however you want. So, thinking about what I would, if I had never seen these containers before, what would I actually put on my salad? Um, 
land. This is kind of messy because I have seeds everywhere, but that's probably a decent amount of cherry tomatoes, if not maybe too much. So that's all I want. I still have much more room in there. So I'm going to put some more lettuce. Before this, I kind of would have looked at lettuce as a pretty much a free, a free food anyways. So if I'm going to overeat on something lettuce, I'm okay with that. It's not going to kill me. Let's see. A little bit more. If this was a side that was going to go with some other food, I would have been just fine with the one um, container full of the lettuce. But since I have that allotted and I don't want to eat a salad that's half tomatoes, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can fit in there. Okay, there we go. More salad, more tomatoes. So now I've had two grains. And then my beef fajitas are going to be my protein on my salad. And then this is just pre-cooked, pre-frozen um, beef fajita meat. And I like it. I love to put it on salads and make wraps with it or make a little whole wheat fajita pizza. Let's see how much can I fit. You know every one of you at home are going to be trying to cram it in there and see exactly how much you can get in that container. That's probably good. I could get all the rest of it in there if I really wanted to, but that's good. My lid is on. I'm good. Obviously you don't have to put the lid on every time. I'm just trying to show you what's in there. So I've got fajita meat on top. Then, okay, catch up two grains, one red. Then I'm going to add some feta cheese, crumbles. Make sure I have the feta and not the blue cheese. Okay. So the blue container is where my cheese can go. I just like the beef fajita flavor with with blue cheese or feta cheese. It just kind of gives it a little kick and I don't know, makes me feel like I'm eating something that I would order at a restaurant. So I'm all about that. So here's my feta cheese, crumbles, lid fits, I get to eat it. Hello. any food. Okay, there's my feta cheese. Then I get one orange full of dressing. So now we've had two green, one red, one blue, and then I get an orange. I don't have any of the prepared dressings made up that they show in the book, so I can't vouch for how they taste. Uh, I just have a balsamic vinaigrette, mainly because I had it in the refrigerator. I actually think, okay, on this one I overfilled it a little bit. My lid's not going to go on, so that probably means I put a little bit more than I'm supposed to have. Well, I could have got that lid on, it just would have made a big mess. So, I've got my lid full of dressing. salad. I've got romaine lettuce, cherry tomatoes, uh, fajita meat, beef, some feta cheese, and balsamic vinegar dressing. So in this salad there are two green, one red, one blue, and one orange. It's snack time again. It's now two to three hours after I had my fajita salad. I'm going to go ahead and have a pear. 
So the one pair is, where's my containers? The one pair is a purple, so that's fruit, that's my snack. And I'm choosing the pear as my snack right now because that's going to be a good boost right before I work out. And I tend to work out in the late afternoon. So I'm going to have that pear and then 15 to 30 minutes later I'm going to go and work out. So again, one purple container. Now I'm going to go ahead and prepare dinner. I lost my plate. Huh? So for dinner I'm just going to have some pasta, a whole wheat, whole grain, whole wheat spaghetti. I'm just putting in a little bit of crushed garlic. And of course I prepared my noodles ahead of time so that you didn't have to watch water boil. Olive oil, I would be doing this on the stove if I hadn't already prepared it so that you could not have to watch all that. Okay. And I've got some mixed veggies, just zucchini, cauliflower, green beans, lima beans, um, red peppers, I think that's about it. So I don't have to have the same thing, it's just a mixture of veggies. And then I've got some tilapia with some blackened seasoning. So I've got my four ounces of tilapia or my red container, which also can hold the same thing, four ounces of tilapia. Then I'm going to have the green container of veggies. This is just a mixed vegetable medley that I had frozen in the freezer. We have four kids, we don't have time to go full out gourmet all the time, but we just do what works for us and you have to do that because if you're going to try and sustain this kind of lifestyle, everybody doesn't have the time to, to cook everything fresh all the time. Whether it's the healthiest way or not, you still want to do your best and live within your means with your money but also with your lifestyle. So my lid for my veggies will fit. That's a lot of veggies on my plate. I'm not skimping or anything. And then I need my yellow for my pasta. yellow container of whole wheat spaghetti noodles with garlic which is a free food and one teaspoon of olive oil and uh, just some Mrs. Dash's seasoning. So for this dinner meal we have one green the veggies, one red the tilapia and one yellow for the noodles. So that's a decent sized dinner and there you go, we're done. That's our container system. So I just wanted to kind of show you, this is my, my container system worth of today's meals. So remember that's the visualization we did at the beginning. We had, I was allotted three green containers, two purple containers, four red, one orange, two yellow, and one blue, and then my two teaspoons here, which remember was my olive oil and my peanut butter. So. That equates to all that food. That's pretty good size meal for meals for the day. So I have my two cups of coffee for breakfast. I'm only going to use one. I just wanted you to see that. <laughs> so I'm going to have two cups myself. My artificial sweetener, which is stevia. My eggs, which is two eggs. A whole wheat waffle. A cup's worth of fruit. A Shakeology. I've got chocolate and peanut butter. And then I've got a beef fajita salad with feta cheese and balsamic vinegar and balsamic vinegar dressing. I've got a pear for my other snack before my workout. So for my dinner, I've got a four ounce piece of tilapia, mixed veggies, and whole wheat spaghetti noodles. And 50 ounces of water 